how's it going guys? My name is Dopey and welcome to this Dopey story. Just a quick update or add on to the previous one, the public transport. So I had to do exams and I had to commute with public transport again. And it was late, yeah, similar to the first time, it was late for the first bus out of the town and had to wait two hours. So that was fun. <laughs> The worst part was that I had to, I was like we lay, only laid by well, like one one or two minutes. If I had crossed the road faster, I would have like stopped the driver, got on. No, the traffic lights fucked me. Like I had to cross the road once, yeah, only like one straight and then another time to the right. And then would have got on to the bus. I was still waiting, so I thought I could cross right first, and then cross straight a second time, and then straight again. Then I'd be at the same spot. So I thought it'd be faster to cross three times rather than twice. But maybe the twice would have been better, because if I had seen the bus was about to leave, I would have run across the road. <laughs> risking my life just to get onto a bus two hours earlier. Just as the second traffic light where I, I thought, oh, it, it'd be faster, I could just cross. The lights turned green for the cars and obviously didn't want to die, so I didn't cross the road. So, got was late for that bus, then another day got <laughs> was on time for that bus, and uh, in the second town, townish, it's like small village, small town, village, <laughs> whatever. I was on time there, I walked to the bus stop just to, well there's two bus stops so I got off at one and then walked to the other just to waste a, bit, a little bit of time. Still had to wait 20 minutes for the next one. Uh, waiting, waiting, oh it's okay, like 10 minutes late, okay. It's not unusual. 20 minutes, okay, a little bit worried, 30 minutes, 40, just went down, and then after an hour, <laughs> well, after like half an hour or 40 minutes, I thought, yeah, this bus isn't coming, so the next one was, wasn't until an hour later, so an hour later, when the, the bus should have come, <laughs> the out of service one comes in and says, Ah, oh, it's broken down. <laughs> of course. So I only had to wait like 10 more minutes for the, the other one, the 1 p.m. 20. And coincidentally enough, it's the 120 bus. The 120 bus at 120 p.m. So, got on. At least they didn't, I didn't have to pay the bus driver, the bus fare. They were thinking, ah, you waited an hour for this. Like, some people didn't wait an hour. Like, some people came just for that 120 bus at 120. <laughs> so they just got on for free. Now waiting an hour. And I was there waiting more than an hour because it was early. So, yeah. Oh, and while waiting, <laughs> also the, the character from last uh, story. The, how do I call him? The large... Uh, the weird, large, wouldn't say limping, it's more like a, not a wobble, a waddle, limp, waddle, waddle, wobble, I don't know. Anyways, that same character was there, and there's so, this sort of ledge to sit on to wait. So I was standing around for a while, because I've been sitting, for, sat through a ex two-hour exam, then sat the bus journey and then I was waiting for the second bus so why not stand so then I sat down I don't remember if the character I'll just name him the character <laughs> I don't remember if he was already sitting down or I don't know or no I think he like he was pacing around and kept walking around and uh, all that sitting down <laughs> standing back up so then I think I sat down finally, and he sat, or he was already sitting like a bit away from me, so I think that that's okay. I get a bit of distance between me and him. And then 
He stands and walks around. Oh, this time I think the bus, the outer service bus was like parked in front. Then uh, he sits back down really fucking close to me. I'm like, okay, that's a bit weird. I, I'm feeling uneasy and uncomfortable. That's get away from me. Like, it's not a character I'd like to sit beside. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so after a few uncomfortable minutes like i was on my phone so like i had the perfect cover just to like not pay any attention and i was like oh my back's getting tired or something so i just stood up and i don't know if he reacted some way or <laughs> i don't know it's strange altogether. So he took a call or called someone and I was talking really loud and nearly like shouting into the phone. But I understand like some people with disabilities or like mental illnesses like I'm not discriminating it's not or joking around po poking fun. But <laughs> it just a little bit freaked out by the whole incident. <laughs> it's strange that the the same guy at the same bus stop, same time, maybe same day. I don't remember if it was a Thursday or a Thursday or a Tuesday, whenever I don't know. I don't remember. I don't even remember when last time was. Maybe like six months ago, last exams. Anyways, I got home, grand, safe. <laughs> Not touched by strange men at bus stops, but halfway through exams at the moment. No, it, more than halfway today was the fourth one. What am I? My brain's absolutely fried. So the Thursday's one was the third one, and I had to take an, the early, well, the usual bus I take, the, the local one, in the morning, even though I had exam at 3:30 p.m. So I. Uh, it's okay, I'll get some study done because I didn't do anything the night before. Uh, get some study before the exam, get like get through everything, get through the whole module, the course, everything. I go to the university library, there's no space to study. Well, obviously I didn't bring my laptop because going into exam you can't bring your belongings or like you, the most you can bring is your phone, but you have to put that on the floor turned off so obviously oh well there's there is a cloakroom but you just leave your coat your bag whatever you know like expensive shit like a laptop or whatever so i'm smart like that smart smart and i don't have a locker because it costs like a tenner or something like actual effort of remembering the locker code along with other stuff i have to remember uh, anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, so no room at the library. So I think I'm thinking I'll just find a space on my f and like look up the notes on my phone. So soon the phone runs out of battery or not about to run out of battery. So I'm thinking, and there I don't think there was a socket. To charge my phone because obviously I carry on carry around the charger so I was thinking maybe I'll go around and look for space that has a where I can ch that has a socket where I can charge but I walked around the first level absolutely no space the second level I, I had one sp one space or maybe a few spaces Obviously, I'm not gonna sit in between like friends or whatever, or like at one empty spot where it's like a full desk. I don't know. I'm weird like that. But anyway, and I I prefer like a cubicle along to myself, better to study. And I, I don't know. I feel I like a I like a desk or whether multiple multiple people are sitting. I don't know. It's sort of think they're watching me or like looking at what I'm doing that sort of dynamic at a cubicle I think or even when someone walks past my cubicle I think oh I should be doing work 
then and not wasting this space there where someone else would actually be doing work. So I actually get some study and work, whatever assignment I have to do done at a cubicle. And then I don't have to worry about chargers because there's two sockets. So don't have to worry about one for the laptop, one for the phone. That's absolutely grand. So thinking, fuck this, I'm going for a rock. It was nice weather outside, sunny, a little bit of a wind, but like unusual for our Irish weather to be nice like that. So I walked around beside the canal for over an hour or something. Uh, took a bite to eat. Uh, <laughs> got hydrated myself. But obviously it was warm. And uh, got back. Oh, uh, while walking, I had the well, obviously refresh my mind. The fresh air, whatever. Because in there, it was warm as well. There in the in the library. Maybe I had my jump around, or I don't remember, but just warm, loads of people, loads of background noise, all of that, just not my kind of environment, especially to study for something, for an exam that I haven't studied before. So brainstorming, not brainstorming, just like thinking of ideas, so you can rent a laptop there. So that's what I did. Did I find a cubicle at the... In the end, I don't think I did. No, I didn't. <laughs> no. So I rented the laptop. It took a while because it's the first time I actually rented one. So why rent one when I have my own? And it's just better to have your own. It's much faster. And so I'd, at another spot, I think it was on the second floor, where it's supposed to be a squad study area. No, I had to sit at the one desk where two fucking girls were chatting or whatever but it was girls from my exam because they I, they were talking about the subject and uh, that could have been this that was distracting like them talking about oh is this gonna come up as that subject and like shut up i'm doing that subject and i need to study for it or like cram everything down into my brain, I don't know. I got like one or two hours study done before the exam. Did not eat at lunch. So, well, there wasn't much time because by the time I got through the course, I, uh, I went, <laughs> the notes weren't that great either. There's like pictures and like occasional sentences or like, it's just not great for cramming, to be honest. What you're supposed to do is rely on like articles and journal articles and like other books and sh stuff. Yeah, I went in the exam basically knowing nothing. Wrote a paragraph e for each question, a total of two questions, so two paragraphs. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna pass that. Maybe get a few marks, but definitely not passing. I wrote what I knew, so. And for the continuous assessment, that's like we're 20% of the thing I got. Maybe a total of 12 or 15%. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I won't get like 20. Oh, wait, actually, it's so that's the exam counts for 80% of the total grades. So uh, if I already have 15, so I need t uh, 25. I'm not, that's why I didn't pick a math subject because I can't think about percentages and how, like, if I need 20% in an exam that's 80% of the total grade, what's the percentage that I need in the exam to get the 25%? Yeah, at least, oh, like 30 something percent, which is already a fail, but along like failed exam but pa oh i think you don't can't fail the exam or otherwise you won't pass or something like that something weird anyway don't think i got 30 percent or the passing 40 in the in that exam anyway so is that it the failing exam love two more 
So if tomorrow to study for exam the day after, which will be in the morning, we'll have to get the normal bus into college in the morning and then get back with the two buses. So don't know what will happen. I probably won't edit or upload this until after the exams. So I'll pro if anything does happen, which I hope won't, that I that I will update an add-on to this. But hopefully nothing eventful happens. Just a normal public transport, going home, commute from college to home. Just uh, relax, get some study done maybe, perhaps, probably not. <laughs> So two more exam and then after that exam, which will be on Monday, today is a Saturday, oh, it's Sunday now because it's morning, two days and then another exam on the Thursday, which totally not prepared for the three or two or three lectures I went to, absolutely bored out of my mind, be just because of the lecture is like talks really slow and just makes you fall asleep not very enthusiastic <laughs> and one of the lectures is talking about the previous recap in the previous lecture or something like that for maybe like half an hour 20 minutes to half an hour of the lecture where you should be covering new stuff or maybe it should just like reiterating the important stuff from last lecture but like, it's from last lecture, like, just revise or recap at like, at the end of the semester, no need to, like, people might have come in for that lecture specifically to learn new stuff, hopefully I don't need to repeat in August, it's 40 euro for a repeat for each exam, don't know how is it gonna go, but once the exams are over, I'm not thinking about college, no I think about all that shit going on holidays, relaxing, chillaxing, playing some beanball on the I don't know the lyrics fuck that. No sympathy. If I don't add on to anything to this, uh this has been quite a story. Thought it'd be only a quick update of like a minute or two before the the Tinder story, but apparently not. I'll have to make another uh, video out of this. So I'll see you next time. If I don't add on to anything to onto this, blah blah blah, whatever. Shut up. So just a quick update on the public transport story 1.5. Dopey, whatever, 1.5. Uh, on Monday, well, today's Wednesday, a few days earlier on Monday, I had an exam. So, everything normal, got the exam. Had to leave earlier again because might have not have made, well, definitely not, would not have made the bus if I had left. Or stayed for the full two hours of the exam, so left like 20 or half an hour earlier. Uh, got on to that bus grand and made it to the second town grand, just like last time. Not like the first time, but like the second time, did it properly, normally. And uh, well, this time the bus came on time and uh, <laughs> well, it started to rain just as I got off, so I thought uh, I'll go to this closer bus stop rather than walk in the rain to the other one. Even though it would have wasted like around 10 minutes. Like, still had to wait like half an hour from the time I got there till the next bus came, so I was waiting there at that closer bus stop. And uh, the bus came a little late as usual, but you know, expected that from that kind of bus, that bus. 
and uh, one person got off, so I thought, there's, well, there's no one else, so I'm getting on. And, uh, like, an elderly woman was getting off with her luggage, and the bus driver was like, wait a few, well, he was foreign as well, so it, it, wait a few minutes, wait, wait a few, like, like, I didn't see, it's not my fault, I didn't see anyone else getting off, and, like, you can't see through the windows if anyone is getting off. Like, I waited till the woman got off, and I've been waiting there, like, what, half an hour there? So I just wanted to get in and sit down and fucking, like, dread the next part of the journey, like, fucking. So I got given out to there by the bus driver. Then, uh, I was walking, I well, got to my stop, and I, I went downstairs, because it's two story bus, so I was saying, once it stops, the last bus driver, can he, uh, stop at the other place, which is closer to me, so I wouldn't have to walk along the main road, because I usually have to just, I ask them to, when it stops at that stop at the village, I usually ask to to stop further so I don't have to walk along the main road and just like less cars f for me to walk uh, against. This is a smaller like country road than less cars and that. Anyways. So I walked downstairs, there, well there wasn't any, I was a bit early, and no one was waiting to get off. I was there, and about to ask the dude, the driver, can you stop at the further bit? And uh, one dude was behind me trying to get off, so, and there's like really little, there's not enough space for the boat was to like pass, so I was like holding up the guy that wanted to get on and holding the people that wanted to get off the bus. So I was like, what the fuck do I do? So I just got off because like the actual effort of trying to ask that dude to stop for then he probably wouldn't would have said, oh, your stop is here. You, you're, I'm not stopping for your back for you. It's still the dude needed to get on, dudes needed to get off, and like, it was just easier for me to risk my life <laughs> walking along the main road without a, like, a, not a life vest, but a reflective, like, vest there. And, uh, a second, <laughs> the minute I got off the bus, it started to, like, rain a little bit, like, drizzle, and I, I could see, like, a fucking dark clouds form and I was like, yeah, it's fucking typical. So then it started. Well I was I had to cross the road and then walk a bit to get a there were there at first there is a path because it's like the main village bit, so like shops and all that. And a school, church, everything in in the one place. But by the time I got to like the main road, but it started fucking pouring buckets, lashing like showers. So yeah, that that was fun. I <laughs> got absolutely soaked to the skin. Wasn't wearing like a jacket or anything. I thought it'd be warm, and it was warm until up until that point when it started to fucking lash. So I was only wearing a jumper and like a. A shirt, not enough against the fucking rains. So by the time I got to the bridge, which is the second where I would have asked to get off, like it's it was sunny and uh, nearly done as well. Walking <laughs> along the road, cause like buses, lorries, not lorries, fucking trucks, all that big. They pass you, but like, there's <laughs> no safety at all. They, they should overtake you, like, going fully into the underside of the road instead of just like half. Because, <laughs> like, ha you just go on the middle of the road, not like fully pass you out. 
so like there's only like about a meter or so space where they should give you more like two meters or one and a half i think they're they've the road safety whatever authority of ireland has said that a lot of people pedestrians walking or whatever but like when you're on the bike at least a meter or something when you're passing on a car or like more if we are in a bigger vehicle like a bus or a truck no the fucking not even two meters not even and it was wet and rainy and all that so like that was that was fun so but that stage i was like fuck that i don't care if i had been at like the village bit there was a, like the bus stop that was would have saved me from the rain the there's a few shops, there's like a pub that has like an over bit that I could have took shelter in. And the rain didn't last long, maybe the 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes that it took me to walk to the, to the bridge. Nah, fucking, only started when I was like too far back to walk back. And it would have been wet anyway, whilst I'm getting back. I would have wasted time to go back, wait until the rain stopped, and then go back again. And if I did do that, like, might still have rained anyway, knowing my luck. So by the time I got home, I got wet and dry by the sun. So at least you know that. <laughs> Just, I thought I won't have any incidents today, won't. Have to update the dopey stories now. Still have to fucking that shit. One more exam to go. Uh, won't have to take the public transport, bitch. Shit, fuck. <sighs> well, hopefully it won't be anything eventful. Just a normal exam, normal. Sick and tired of that sh fucking shit. We'll have to get a driver's license, but. Like it'd be easier to get into college <laughs> whenever I do want to get into college, or I have to have to get in early morning and then won't be back until late evening. So that's a bit of a fuck. I'm in a car, it would be way easier just to go in when you need to go back home, but uh. All that costs, like insurance, tax, fucking all that shit. Buying a car, insuring the car. Already said insurance twice, but even getting the driver's license is like the theory test, then 12 lessons, then the driver's, the driving test. And all that costs money. Uh, <laughs> the amount of time it takes and then when you get a license it's not even a full license you have fucking a permit that you have to wait no or wait or like do so many hours of driving with an experienced driver like someone who has had a license for a bit even at that you get like a l sticker then an m sticker and only after one or two years of driving i think you you can drive without them stickers. It's just easier getting the bus in, or like this uh, the private bus <laughs> on the days that I do need to, and just like spend the day there, do some study, work, whatever. <laughs> it's only when the exams come that I don't have anywhere, any way to get to and from. <coughs> it's fucking disaster, fucking. Public transport, nothing worse. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll probably cut that some of the shit out because it's already a long video. Just can't wait for all of this, for all of us, all like the exam, like tomorrow to be over, and then I go on the holidays. Fucking better end this shit. I'll, maybe I'll cut the ending from last bit, or I was hoping to see you next time.